This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Give yourself options online. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash top 10 to get a two year plan with a huge discount plus an additional free gift. More on them in a bit. Helicopters are incredible flying machines that test the limits of design and mechanics by their very existence. But which helicopters truly test the limits of aviation? What about helicopters? The fly upside down, a helicopter that lifts more than its own weight, or a rotary machine that rivaled jet airliners in size. These record setting rotorcrafts will make your head spin. Number 10. Messerschmitt Balkau Blom BO105, the Aerobat. The iconic steed of Red Bull pilot Chuck Aaron and his successor Aaron Fitzgerald, the Messerschmitt Balkau Blom BO105, was a revolutionary contribution to rotary aviation from Germany that stands out as the world's first aerobatic helicopter. The machine was also the first light helicopter to fly with twin engines. That's right, this super powerful helicopter can do barrel rolls, loops, and fly inverted like the most extreme stunt planes thanks to its incredible design. Thanks to the capabilities of the BO105 as the first ever helicopter to achieve these things, the flight envelope and perceived utility of the helicopter as a machine was revolutionized. The hingeless rotor, built from solid titanium, is just one great distinguisher of this engineering marvel. The machine can climb at 1,575 feet per minute and cruise at 150 miles per hour under the power of two 420 standard horsepower Rolls-Royce engines. The machines were produced primarily in Germany and Canada, with uses ranging from military to police service, as well as in the famed Upside Down and Barrel Roll Air Show demos. The helicopter also has been set up for use on aircraft carriers and even fitted out to carry missiles. Number 9. Mil V-12, the biggest one. Just how big can a helicopter get? Larger than you imagined, rivaling jet airliners, while barely remaining identifiable to the casual eye as a horrifically overgrown helicopter. First flying in 1968, just before the entire project was cancelled, the pre-Cold War Soviet Union's Mil V-12 project was constructed as a transporter with a range of 621 miles and a carrying capacity of 196 passengers or a lot of military cargo. Weighing just over 76 US tons and designed to fly at 150 miles per hour, the largest the largest helicopter in world history remains unsurpassed. The rotors each spanned 220 feet across, resembling a giant tube with long airplane-like wings each tipped with monster-sized rotor blades. The beastly twin rotor whirlybird dwarfed many planes. In 1971, the Soviet Union demonstrated the monster at the Paris Air Show, astonishing witnesses who saw a helicopter with its rotors and vertical capabilities crossed with the look of an airliner. One of the reasons for exceptional Soviet helicopter development works was the need to move giant missiles to fire off launch sites away from the eyes of Western spy planes more effectively. Trains were slow and could not reach many areas, but huge helicopters could. Number 8. Westland Lynx – Fastest Helicopter the speediest conventional helicopter in the world looks humble, yet it retains its hold on the official world speed record for a helicopter flight since 1986. The Westland Lynx reached an average speed of just over 248 miles per hour over Somerset, England, under the supervision of the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale (FAI), who bestowed speed records on the helicopter for fastest speed reached in a helicopter of the 3,000 to 4,500 kilogram weight class, plus the absolute world record for rotorcraft. The achievements may have been decades ago, but they have yet to be surpassed as faster rotorcraft have not since been classified as true helicopters, but instead are hybrid aircraft with forward propulsion, such as converter planes. The record-setting Westland Lynx used specialized main blades designed to fight blade-stalling behavior of the blades that would be made worse by high-speed flight, a design venture brought to action by the British Experimental Rotor Program. This program was a joint effort involving Westland cooperating with the UK Ministry of Defense. High-speed main blades, water and methanol power boosts to the engine, plus reduction in exhaust pipe size were just some of the overhauls that would propel the helicopter to record speed. Furthermore, the tail rotor and fins were revised to better distribute stresses of high-speed flight. Number 7. Kellett Hughes XH-17 – The Weirdest If a real-life transforming machine got stuck between crane and helicopter mode, the Kellett Hughes XH-17 would be it. This strange work of aeronautical engineering resembled a helicopter that collided with a crane and flew off as one big mess. The huge contraption was equipped with jet engines mounted to the tips of each rotor in a bid to get the huge machine to fly properly. The machine had its origins in a plan to study and test the concepts of rotary-winged craft powered by jets on the 
for rotor tips instead of traditional helicopter drive systems. As work progressed, the need for a humongous machine that could lift and transport large cargo items into challenging areas led to a 1949 contract requesting that the testing rig be made into a functional flying crane. The resulting XH-17 had a rotor diameter of 130 feet with a maximum payload of just over 10,000 pounds. Two General Electric J-35 gas turbines powered the ungainly machine, while parts from a laundry list of assorted planes, including a Waco CG-15 glider cockpit, B-25 wheels, and B-29 fuel tank were used. Yes, flames and deafening noise were included in the kerfuffle that marked each undertaking to get this beast airborne. Eventually, the project was abandoned on the grounds of impracticality. Number 6. Cayman K-Max K-1200 the strangest super achiever. Likely the strangest way to construct a twin rotor helicopter, the multi-million dollar Cayman K-Max K-1200 is a US-built flying machine with synchropter or intermeshing rotor design. The intermeshing rotors always seem ready to cut into each other, sharing airspace just seconds apart, but they never touch. Resembling a dolphin in appearance from the side, the rotors angle and intermesh like two gears that never touch, allowing lifted capacity that far outweighs that expected from a helicopter of its size. The laterally compressed body is narrow, making the helicopter look like a fish from the front view perspective. With its squishy design, there is just enough room for the pilot. The remarkable achievement of this helicopter, that has double the rotor and less body than a normal helicopter, is its ability to actually lift a cargo load heavier than the empty weight of the helicopter itself. Weighing just 5,145 pounds, the helicopter can take on an additional 6,855 pounds of weight for a maximum gross weight of 12,000 pounds. Uses of the K-1200 include firefighting, search and rescue, and supply delivery. Work on a remotely piloted version also led to the creation of a machine that could enter hazardous situations without putting aviators in danger. All right, we'll get back to today's video in just a second, but first, here's a word from today's sponsor, NordVPN. Look, everyone uses the internet a little differently, and that's totally fine, but what you don't want to do is leave yourself unprotected online. You may have heard me talk about what NordVPN can do for you previously. Encrypt your internet data, remove your online activity to another location with just one click, either for superior security or new streaming options, and all of that, totally still true. NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers throughout 60 countries, but VPNs give you access to so much more than just new TV shows. Having trouble connecting to social media? NordVPN. Want to buy a game that's cheaper somewhere else or maybe not available in your country at all? NordVPN. Want to route your connection through multiple servers just for double-layered security? With NordVPN. You can do it all. Right now, as part of a special deal, you guys can get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus an additional free gift. And if you try NordVPN and change your mind, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. All you've got to do is head to nordvpn.com forward slash top tens again. Nordvpn.com slash top tens for a two-year deal at a huge discount, plus that extra free gift. Or just follow the link in the description box below. And now, today's video. Number 5. Bell AH-1 Cobra – First Dedicated Attack Heli Making its debut in the air in 1965, the Bell AH-1 Cobra was the first fully purpose-built attack helicopter, placing impressive close combat air power in the hands of the U.S. Army. Fast, muscular, and bristling with firepower, the machine still serves the U.S. Marine Corps over half a century later. The helicopter looks fairly conventional, but a closer look reveals many details borrowed from fighter jets right down to the seating layout. The crew of two sat in series in the long but narrow cockpit with a bubble canopy. The co-pilot slash gunner in the front and the pilot occupying the elevated rear seat. The helicopter is sleek, attractive, and carries heavy firepower in an extremely efficient layout. Two short wings protrude from the sides of the fuselage, carrying missiles and minigun pods or cannons under the wings. A total of 3,000 pounds of weaponry could be carried under the tiny but tough wing. Miniguns, grenade launchers, or both were also mounted at the front turret under the nose. Compared to heavy transport helicopters that were the norm prior to the Cobra, the helicopter was a revolutionary step towards maneuverability and capability. Minimalistic skid under Carriage added little weight, leaving more payload capacity for the weapons. Number 4. Masumi Yanagasawa Engineering System Type GNH4 Smallest Helicopter Looking like a patio chair with a ceiling fan attached, the Masumi Yanagasawa Engineering System Type GNH4 helicopter is to a normal helicopter what a bicycle is to a pickup truck. The Japanese product is a unique flying machine for those brave enough to try it. Created in the 1990s by Janai Yanagasawa, an electronics company head, the world's smallest helicopter weighs only 165 pounds, making it the lightest of all helicopters, while the rotor span of 12.8 feet also makes it the smallest. The machine may be tiny, but it is high-tech. The problem of torque and 
counter rotation is solved by the machine being coaxial. Instead of a tail rotor, which is not practical to install due to the lack of any tail boom, the machine has two counter rotating motors, similar to a beginner's remote controlled helicopter. The machine is not exactly slow either. Speeds of 56 miles per hour can be reached, and the helicopter can stay airborne for 30 minutes at a time. With the rotor blades spinning, the tripod landing gear, seat, and rotor hub, it sort of makes it look like a tiny UFO with a human rider. Number 3. Dragonfly DF1 Hydrogen Peroxide Powered Seating just one person and looking like a shopping cart and a chair with rotor blades attached, the Dragonfly DF-1 is not a normal helicopter. It's powered by rockets fueled by hydrogen peroxide attached to the rotor tips. Both rockets blast out power that equates to just over 100 horsepower per rocket motor. The hydrogen peroxide propulsion systems used to make the rain rotors spin are only 8 inches in length and weigh 1.5 pounds each. Because there's no central motor, torque does not form, eliminating the need for a powerful tail rotor. Instead, a basic low-power tail rotor is used for light steering duties. The power to weight ratio of the Dragonfly DF1 is impressive, given the 204 horsepower total contrasted with the machine weight of a mere 230 pounds. Ricardo Cavalcanti, chairman of Avamec International Aircraft Inc., is the creator of the machine, a renowned aeronautical engineer and nature enthusiast from Brazil who sees the creation as a more eco-friendly mode of flight. Ricardo's machine uses a collective pitch to gain altitude once the hydrogen peroxide rockets have got the blade spinning at 750 revolutions per minute. Number 2. Delacna HZ-1 Aerocycle – The Worst Helicopter Probably one of the most unset Probably the most unsettling idea ever for a helicopter, the Delacna HZ-1 Aerocycle was a terrifying contraption that saw pilots standing right above the rotor blades. Variations of the machine were tested from 1954 to 1956, showing promise only at first. A twist-grip throttle controller managed power while the machine was supposed to have steer, pitch, and yaw control by leaning. This was meant to be so easy that a soldier could fly the machine in a manner similar to riding a bicycle following less than half an hour's training. Safety of the machine itself became a glaring issue following crashes. Additionally, upright standing pilots on an aerocycle would be seemingly easy targets for enemy firepower. The US thought there would be an airborne cavalry unit using the machines, but instead the aerocycle project got scrapped in the end. Test pilot Captain Salma Sunbi, who spent time in charge of the aerocycle tests and program development before identifying the machine as being too flawed, ultimately received a Distinguished Flying Cross in 1958 to recognize his service with the project. A single remaining aerocycle can be seen on display at the US Army Transportation Museum in Fort Eustis, Virginia. Number 1. VS-300 – First Helicopter The world's first legitimately flyable helicopter was the Sikorsky VS-300, the work of rotary-winged flight pioneer Igor Sikorsky. On September 14, 1939, the machine first got airborne in Stratford, Connecticut, after construction by the United Aircraft Corporation's Vought Sikorsky Division. Sikorsky patented the basic design in 1931, with the flights to follow laying the groundwork for the familiar main and tail rotor helicopter ubiquitous in modern times. The machine's first ventures into the air made use of tethers, and it was not until 1940 that unrestricted flight took place. Sikorsky had started his engineering journey by making a wind-up toy helicopter at the age of 12. A current-day helicopter pilot would be most concerned by the open cockpit of this machine. The front pods looked something like the cockpit of a World War I biplane fighter, while the main blades swirled above the strapped-in pilot. Sikorsky's pioneering work used drive from a single engine to power both the main blades and anti-torque tail rotor. Not content to be the first normal single-rotor helicopter, the VS-300 also got fitted with floats and became the first operational amphibian helicopter, Landing and taking off from water with ease. The VS-300 is now an exhibit at the Dearborn, Michigan Henry Ford Museum.